another VC Love Train video here. Uh, again, want to mention that uh, I got my Vinyl Community t-shirt here from uh, the folks that Jeff, Glowing Double O Cabbage, had printing them up. Uh, if you want one, you can certainly contact Jeff about that, uh, but I will endeavor to put a link below this video to take you to at least to the video where Jeff was talking about getting one. So, <laughs> make it a little bit easier on you. But uh, this video is to my friend Rob, the other Rob, uh, Panix1960, from Rob from Boston, as many people call him. Uh, we uh, not only share the same first name, but we share a lot of other things in common. We have a lot of common tastes and, and music and, and whatnot. And some time ago I had come across a couple boxes of records that I had picked up from a guy that I know um, and in this box there were a number of Beach Boys albums. Um, some in pretty beat up shape but some in pretty good shape and uh, knowing how much of a, a Beach Boys fan Rob is uh, I immediately pulled some out and set them aside for him. So anyway, uh, he mentioned at the time that he was going to send me something back, although that certainly wasn't necessary. It wasn't why I sent him the records in the first place, but he knows that. Uh, but, you know, the way this whole Love Train thing goes, he wanted to send me something back, and, you know, I'm certainly not going to argue with that. <laughs> um, we, had, we had talked before. Uh, he had a bunch of music magazines, a bunch of old music magazines, and that struck up a conversation between the two of us about music magazines. I love old music magazines, old Rolling Stones, old Cream, uh, Hit Parader, all those sorts of things. I love looking through them. I love uh, just the nostalgia involved there. It's just, uh, it just really, you know, I love it. It reminds me of the 70s and the 80s and that sort of thing. It's good times. Uh, so anyway, he had a bunch of these things, and at one point or another, he sent me a few magazines. Uh, very much appreciated. A couple Cream magazines. I think there was a uh, musician magazine in there too. Peter Gabriel on the cover. He sent me those things. But anyway, the most recent package, he said that he was going to send me some more magazines. He'd been going through a bunch of old magazines that he had, and he was going to send me some more. And, you know, I really appreciate that. I just, you know, I, that was just, I was totally jazzed to hear that. And so uh, he sent me them, and uh, a couple other little surprises in here. First of all, I should mention that when I opened the box, and I, I apologize, I did open the box. Uh, he did a pretty good job of of decorating it, though. There, are little little Morrissey talking heads all over it, saying various different things. My daughter and I got a kick out of that. Um, but I opened the box, and the very first thing I saw was this bootleg, uh, Led Zeppelin bootleg. If you know Rob, uh, you know that not only does he love the Beach Boys, but he loves uh, he loves his Zeppelin. He's probably the biggest Zeppelin fan in the VC, as far as I can tell. Uh, anyway, this is a uh, sound check done by the band in 1973 in Chicago. So, very close to, to home now. So, 1973, uh, 6th of July, 1973. Uh, Led Zeppelin sound check in Chicago. So it's called Sliced and Diced. Uh, it'd be very cool to hear that. I have not listened to it yet. I, I actually did open this package and I started looking through some stuff, but I haven't really looked through anything in detail and I haven't played the CD or anything. Wanted to make sure I got on here and, and sent him a big thank you for this stuff. A uh, couple other things. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a postcard uh, Marilyn Monroe collection and postcard. And uh, Rob wrote a really nice note on the back of that really glad to be in touch with them that way. Uh, not only did I get one postcard though, but I got two postcards. This one's got uh, uh, Eddie and Alex Van Halen. I got the right names there? I know it's Eddie Van Halen, but his brother Alex? Is that right? <laughs> I should know that. But anyway, uh, milk commercial. You know, got milk kind of thing. They got their milk mustaches. Uh, but again, it's a Tower Records uh, uh, postcard with a nice note from Rob on the back. Not only did I get one note from Rob, but I got two notes from Rob, so that's very cool. I won't read those here, but uh, still very much appreciated. Uh, I got a copy of Guitar World magazine with Keith Richards on the cover. That's very cool. 
I love Keith. Um, this comes with a CD on there, so I don't know who's actually on the CD, but I'll have to pull that out and check it out. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, next up is uh, an older issue of Cream Magazine. This one is from July 1979, and uh, this is, features Cheap Trick on the cover. Um, Rob, I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but the very first concert that I ever saw was Cheap Trick in 1979. Uh, trying to remember how old I was at that point. But anyway, Cheap Trick 1979, and this is the magazine, Cream Magazine with Cheap Trick from 1979. Very, very cool. You could not have known that. But uh, definitely looking forward to, to going through that Cheap Trick. So, I, a lot of people know Cheap Trick's music already, but for those of you that don't, uh, a power pop band from the Midwest, actually from very near around here, from Rockford, Illinois. Um, power pop band, great band, great, uh, nice and tight band. This goofball right here, Rick Nielsen, the lead guitarist, uh, Bun E. Carlos, Robin Zander, and Tom Peterson. Great band. I love this band. Um, Joseph O'Donnell, you should have some cheap trick coming your way, buddy. Uh, another Cream magazine. This one looks like a kind of a compilation thing. This is from Mar March 1983. And it uh, looks like there's two magazines in here, actually. Oh, okay, cool. One of them's Mad Magazine. Oh, man. That's been ages since I've seen a Mad Magazine. <laughs> it's very cool. Very cool. From July 1974. Mad Magazine from July 1974. Rob, thank you so much. I'm so excited about the music magazines, but man, I haven't seen a Mad Magazine in forever. That is very cool. Thank you so much. That is just awesome. And then there's one more magazine in here. This would be um, a Rolling Stone magazine from uh, September 1988. This would be the 100 best singles of the last 25 years. So, it's kind of a cool cover there. I like that cover too. So thank you, Rob. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really thoroughly enjoy looking through those magazines. Um, I'm just going to, I mean, I did with the other ones you sent too. I, mean, I just sort of scoured through those things and reminisced and I, I used to have, I used to get a subscription to Cream Magazine and I had a subscription to Rolling Stone for a while and I just love that stuff and, and not having seen either one of them for such a long time, it's so great to have them back. And that Mad Magazine, <laughs> that's awesome, I didn't even notice that the first time I looked in the package. So Rob, thank you very much, I appreciate it so much. Uh, to everyone else in the VC, take care of yourselves, and uh, I will see you around on YouTube.